mother showed me the worst that life has to offer. Over the past few years, a growing concern has developed over the seemingly forced inclusion of action-focused gameplay into franchises that were based in the horror genre. The two most recent Resident Evil and Dead Space titles have received a bulk of the criticism from the gaming public due to what has been perceived as a significant shift from frights to firearms and spooks to explosions. However, there is one gaming franchise that has unabashedly mixed the shooter and horror genres with exceptional results. Across three major releases, Fear has not only provided waves of bullets, explosions, and even mechanized death machines, but also offered up genuine scares courtesy of one little red-dressed girl named Alma Wade. The first Fear game was lauded for its deep story and unique blend of gameplay elements. Not only was the combat found to be as intuitive as any big budget first person shooter at the time, but the game was genuinely scary and loaded with disturbing imagery. Balancing those two seemingly contrasting elements was what allowed Fear to garner the critical success that it did. Fortunately for us, it only laid the foundation for a narrative that would continue to even darker corners of the human psyche, all while growing more and more tangled. Few franchises have been as committed to a single narrative arc playing out over a span of several games as the Fear series. While the last game did provide a bit of closure, there are still many questions left unanswered and too many issues left unexplored. The folks at Warner Brothers still own the rights to the Fear name, so we're hoping that they are cooking something up in preparation for the next generation of consoles. Monolith Productions, the developers behind the first two Fear games, are still in Warner Brothers stable, so all the pieces are in place to make Fear 4 a reality. Here's hoping Monolith Productions start development on the next game in the terrific Fear series. Please make Fear 4 happen!